Hey YouTube! So I just got my retightening a few days ago and it was much needed. I was participating in the styling challenge and I had a lot of troubles with this challenge which resulted in a lot of slippage so before my retightening this past Saturday I had a mini afro under here. Yes it was a lot. Um, I thought going into my retightening session that I was going to have a really sore head coming out because I figured my loctician would retighten my sister locks really close to my scalp but instead what she did because I had so much slippage she did one full rotation and by rotation that means they take the sister lock tool and go in the lock from like east to west and then south to north, and then east, west to east. This they go around four point turn. So she did that on all of my sister locks for one rotation instead of retightening my hair all the way to my scalp. This allowed my scalp to breathe and have like a break. And she also said that it will help me as my hair kind of reacclimates to having been manipulated so much so needless to say the styling challenge was not for me and styling my swap is not something that I'm going to do on a daily basis I'm actually going to try and keep my socks curly all of March so we'll see about that but I wanted to give you guys an up close of my sister locks having been retightened after a lot of slippage it's major shrinkage. If you saw my how to straighten your hair without heat video, my sister locks are like down here, but shrinkage are all the way up here. So shrinkage is real, even with sister locks. As you can see, the front ones, there are no buds on them, like, whatsoever. But, there are some in the back ones. More so, like, over here. See those little ones? But, yeah. My hair is still not locked all the way, but it's making progress, I must say. And, it's growing really fast. Because I am a little over 16 months with my sister locks, even though they're still not locked and you're really not supposed to use products, I went out to Odeon Handmade a few weeks ago and picked up some things. I've been trying the Odeon Handmade Goatee and the Goatee is similar to the Frank Juice, which is like a, a hair tonic, kind of like a leave-in. Except the goatee is made with tea tree oil and it helps to kind of hydrate your hair or scalp rather. I just put it on my scalp and cleanse it. Which is what my witch hazel and rosemary oil concoction does too. And I still use that. So I have that. Use that most of the time. I use a goatee just to kind of add some freshness, freshness to my locks. And I also picked up some... Frank juice. I got the Frank juice and another bottle of the goatee for TV and his locks, but I took a little bit of it and put in a bottle for myself just for when I want my hair to smell good and I'm, or I'm going out, I just spritz it kind of in the air, kind of walk into the mist, not necessarily put the Frank juice on my hair because it is oil based and has lots of oils in it and so those oils would definitely I also hair. discovered a new shampoo, the Jamaican Mango and Lime Tingling Shampoo. It's amazing for locks. Like, really amazing. Better than the Tilia Waheed Herbal Shampoo, in my opinion, just because I feel like it's formulated for locks. And after shampooing my hair with it, my hair felt clean, didn't feel stripped, but at the same time, it didn't feel 
soften and I don't want my hair to soften up as it's trying to lock so that shampoo was amazing I'll do a product review on that really soon but other than that my Sulux are doing great I have no complaints my scalp is a lot better now um, since I stopped styling and I'm going to keep it curly so that's about it thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later bye